Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to export an Autodesk file uh, as an image and be able to place it into a Google Doc presentation or wherever you'd want to put it. So, in this, I went ahead and I have a merry-go-round that has been made. And in this merry-go-round, I want to put it in a presentation. And so, I'm going to go up here to the big eye, that's the, uh, the um, application menu click it and go down to export and when I go to export it gives me several different options and the top option, option says image that's the one that I want to click but before I click that I want to make sure that the perspective that I have my part in is the perspective I want to take the picture because if I take the picture and it looks like that that's what the picture is going to look anything inside the graphics window is what it's going to take a picture of and so you want to make sure that you have the optimal perspective when you take the picture. And so for me, I just want to make sure it's kind of in an isometric view, such as that. And I could zoom in and make sure that it has the best view possible. So this is, I like this view. This is what I want. So I'm going to go up to the application menu. I'm going to export it as an image. This is very important. You need to make sure that whatever it says BMP files, you need to change that to JPEG. JPEGs work a lot better in Google Docs than what your BMP files will. And then this is just telling us where we save it. Where do you want the file to go to? And for me, I want it to go on the desktop just because it's easier to find on the desktop. And then you can name it whatever. I want to name mine Merry Go Round and I want to save. This is Yours probably won't say that, but I've already done this once, so it asked me if I want to replace it. So there is my merry-go-round right here. Okay, so that part is done. Now I want to do an exploded view, and we talked about this in class. So I want to go up here to Application Menu. I want to do a new presentation. New presentation. I'm going to click on Presentation. And because I have merry-go-round already open down here, if I click create view it automatically says hey do you want to take merry-go-round and explode it and so this is the merry-go-round so yes I want that and I want to do an automatic so I'm going to click automatic and the distance between the parts that it's going to make right now is defaulted to one inch I'm going to change that these parts are really big in this playground so I'm going to make it 12 inches I want a foot in between each part of my uh, merry-go-round the create trails it just it puts marks where things have been separated you'll see that here in a second so I say okay and it brings my merry-go-round and it separates everything by 12 inches alright these are the trail marks right here this these blue lines so if you want those great if not you can unselect that I notice my pedestal is not uh, separated so I want to do that manually I'm gonna go to tweak components and click that and then I'm going to grab that and pull that down so there's a separation there. Yours is going to look a little different on your interface. You don't have this, but it's still the same process. You'll have arrows that will be uh, highlighted right here. You'll click the arrow that you want, whether it's the X, Y, or Z, and you'll grab that arrow and you will pull that up or down depending on where you want to move it, okay, or left and right. And I'm going to say close. And I might want to tweak this a little bit so I get the right perspective. I like that right there. So again, I'm going to go to Application Menu. I'm going to go down to Export, up to Image. And again, I want to make sure it's a JPEG file. I want, I want it to go to my desktop again. And this time, instead of Merry-Go-Round, I'm going to call it Merry-Go-Round Explosion. All right. And it's going to tell me that I already have one named that. And I'm going to replace it. Yours won't say that. So that I have both of those done. They show up right here on my desktop. There's the one, and there's the other. And now it's pretty simple to get it into uh, a Google Doc. And so you'll go to your Google Docs, where I'll go to mine, my drive, and um, wait for it to load. And I have a presentation already. This is not what your presentation will look like. I'm doing a, a different presentation, but it's the same process. So I'm going to double click on that, and it's really this simple. 
is I'm just going to grab from the desktop and pull it over onto a slide and drop it. And there it is. And then you can resize this thing and move it around, put text above it, below it, whatever you would like to do. Go to the next slide, pull it on there, and then I can resize it, do whatever I want, move it around, put text above it, below it. So that is how you take the explosion picture and your together picture and put them into a Google presentation.